We appreciate Leanne being here today. And now for our resource docket. Mike and I will present some uh, resources for elder care. Today, Daryl and I are going to provide the resources for elder care support, starting with the Council on Aging and their website, which has many online resources as well as numbers and information for other assistance. You know, before I arrived here today, I actually pulled up the Council on Aging website, and it is a phenomenal website. Uh, Council on Aging of Southwestern Ohio is a nonprofit organization dedicated to enhancing quality of life for older adults, people with disabilities, their families, and caregivers. Uh, the Council on Aging promotes choice, independence, dignity, and well-being through a range of services that help people remain in their homes for as long as possible. The Council on Aging is a state-designated agency uh, serving a 21-county region. One call to the Council links people to a wide variety of agencies, information, and programs that serve older adults and people with disabilities. The website features, features pages such as programs and services. Under this heading includes advocacy, which features contacts to all lawmakers. For caregivers, includes free caregiver education and support program which includes assessments and complete program for caregivers. This section of the website also includes information uh, for such things as assisted living, care in your home, care transitions, long-term care planning, My Care Ohio information for consumers, nursing home pre-admission reviews, Ohio home care waivers, an Older Americans Act. The council also has an aging and disabilities resource directory. Here you're going to find information and resources available for seniors, people with disabilities, families, and caregivers in our region. To use the directory, click on the topics in the menu or on the left of your screen, or enter a search term in the search box. The address is www.help4seniors.org. There are several files that you can download and the topics included are care options and resources where there is information, resources, and contact information for people who need care, whether at home in the community or in a nursing home. Most of the information in this section is aimed at helping you stay independent at home. They also have health and safety, whether it's finding a new physician or preparing for a disaster, uh, resources in this section can help. There is also a section for housing, which can help with home repair, rental, utility assistance, or finding a home to suit your particular needs. There is finally a section on work, education, and leisure, which provides resources that will help you find the information you need for things such as taking a class, finding a park, finding a job, volunteering, or even just travel. Lastly, the site offers a complete section for the providers that they work with to provide services. The section contains information on how they recruit and process providers before they're allowed to work with the Council on Aging. The section is for those who would like to provide services. Among some of the information provided includes application and request for proposals, conditions and specifications, information for prospective providers, which gives them an overview of providing services. Please check our Facebook page and we'll have more additional information regarding the Council on Aging.